Tech Tuesday here on Fox 17 News at 6. Joining us once again, Casey Cochran of Imperial Computer Solutions. We're talking all things video games. You know, they haven't been in the news lately because people, frankly, haven't been buying consoles lately. Yeah, they haven't. Um, and ourselves, we've been repairing a ton of them. So the, the used game market or the, you know, someone bought them two, three years ago, if they stop working, they get them repaired real simple, real easily. So the sales have gone, have gone on quite a bit. And there hasn't been that big generational uh, leap forward with graphics or controllers, maybe until now, because we've got the, the Wii U coming out. Let's talk the about Wii, that. Yeah, the Wii U's coming out. It's, it's coming out very, very soon. It'll be here before Christmas. And so essentially what the Wii U has done is it's taken the Wii and it's got it up to date with graphics. So you can get the 1080p mm -hmm. that everyone's somewhat used to now, but it's added this game console controller. And what this does is... It's like is a tablet it, computer, kind it of. It is. It has its own... You can play your own games on it. You can play... It's touchscreen. You can do FaceTime with other people on it. Um, but it has its own maps, its own... It's basically a controller within itself. It's a game system within itself. And we've seen how they've integrated it in some of the big titles like Batman, Gotham, you know, where you're actually accessing the Bat computer through this side screen. And then most of your action is still taking place on your big screen. On the screen, yeah. So your maps and your, your weapon exchange and your um, just basically the multiplayer things or the directional things as far as uh, hidden things all comes on this console. So you have essentially two screens that you're working with. All right, so that's that. But let's talk about the big news of the day, and that is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. People lining up around the block for this. Call of Duty is always the biggest video game release of the year. It, it was, and this one held true. It, it, the, the reviews before it came out... Uh, it was getting, you know, five out of five stars from everyone, um, and basically it's held true to its name in, the, in the, the previous releases, except that it's it's added a ton of weapon accessories. It's added um, single mode gameplay where you can go off on single single missions, um, and so there's a huge huge lines for this. But really, the big thing is the online gaming, the multiplayer stuff. That exactly, goes with the this. multiplayer thing, and they've added new levels, new new maps, new yeah. uh, arenas, things of that sort, and it's 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 huge. You think how big is this for people that aren't gamers? Well, you got. Uh, Avatar, right? As far as entertainment goes, uh, Call of Duty made a billion dollars in 16 days last time around. We'll have to see what this one does. It's got some competition from uh, Halo 4, the new release from Microsoft. Yeah, so Halo 4 just just came out uh, a little bit early, basically about a week ago, and so it's held true to the the same Halo format and gameplay that you're used to, um, except that it has added a ton of, of weapon um, upgrades and things of that sort. It's set in the future, but you can go back into the 80s and things of that sort. So it has weapons um, that no one's seen that you can find, and you can keep these weapons and bring them into multi. Uh, multi-gameplay mode, which right. people are real excited about. So if the kids disappear on Thanksgiving Day, you better check the basement and yes. the TV down there because they're probably playing their video games. Right. And this is a lot of good content coming out right before Christmas too, right? It is. Yeah, everything you would need from your you know, your three and four-year-olds with the Nintendo Wii to your teenagers with Call of Duty and, and uh, Halo 4. Okay, see, so thanks again. And if somebody wants to fix their video game system that's broken? Yeah, Imperial Computer Solutions. We, we fix hundreds and hundreds of those. So All right. be good. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you, you next week. Thanks. It goes without saying November.